We had two bathroom spaces. And I've opened it up. But we never talked about that. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating me. If the glass is dirty on your window, do you replace the window or do you clean the glass? Hey, hey, oi, oi. How many tips have we got? Hey guys, welcome to episode two. We are so stoked to be here. The reno is on. We are well into the reno. We've stripped out the bathroom and kitchen. The shears and old blinds and drapes are down. Christina will be happy to know all the ants are finally gone. All of this has happened in episode one. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I know you're gonna enjoy it. There's also a bit of drama. So we're starting this morning at Bunnings, thought we'd get in there and pick up a bunch of materials because it's always good to have it on site, ready to go. It is day two and it is a cracker day. Yesterday I was sick, I had to go home at midday, so I'm back this morning feeling revived and ready to go. And they have that old saying that says, when the cat's away, the mouse play, but these mouse did not play. These boys have grafted and worked all day yesterday and I'm so impressed with where we're at. I have noticed though, honestly, everyone takes advantage of the skip. The boys had it level and overnight, it's got a little higher from our good old neighbors. So I've come in this morning, the place has completely opened up. So you're saying we're good to pull this whole lot down? Isn't it? That, that's fantastic. We could potentially open this up here. Right, that, that whole lot, eh? Yeah. I've walked into the dining room area and I can see right through the toilet and the bathroom. The jib has completely been stripped off the walls and it's looking good. Wow. Crazy to think that this was a toilet and bathroom yesterday, and now we're just looking at bare framing. Definitely opens up that whole discussion of whether we move this wall and get rid of it and just make it one big bathroom. Having the jib off the walls really gives you a sense of what it's gonna feel like when it's opened up, but now it's really time to get stuck in and create some open plan living. I love this stuff because you start to see the transformation, you start to see what's possible, and you start getting excited. Always interesting to see what's under the carpet. Many houses, we've found some nice hardwood that we've ended up using. I don't think it's the case in this property, but you never know. So the house is all stripped out, and there's nothing like getting the blood pumping in the morning by doing some physical manual labor. <sighs> Gotta keep up with the young guys. Jib is all inside, and it's perfect timing because Sione has arrived to concrete the garage floor. How's it going? You all ready to go? All right, right now, it really does look like an unfinished project underneath here. And so you're six grand, it adds value to the home, and at the end of the day, I think it's worth it, so. Yeah, it's fine. I, I struggled with it in the beginning, because I guess I don't, I'm not a garage gal, yeah, right? Yeah. But I do like the idea of an unusable space becoming usable for the future owner. So in order to make it a usable space, we need to finish off the block work that hasn't been completed. We need to put in a beautiful slab. And uh, we also need to frame up and line the walls. We've kept off all the plumbing and uh, we need to get the water back on because the concrete guys are here and they're trying to lay their blocks. Uh, Brody, have you turned off all the taps? Uh, yeah. Okay, then we're good to go, mate. Turn it on. Right, hey, 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 we're lucky we caught it. <laughs> so we've sorted through that issue and hopefully we don't have to replace any more of the flooring. The concrete guys are going and we're underway. I've got my boys here today and they absolutely love big yellow trucks. <laughs> and so they're just having an absolute blast. I'm really blown away by Sione. He's currently undergoing chemotherapy, but you wouldn't know it by how hard he's working. Still not eating solid. You don't need solids? For three and a half months, yeah. You haven't eaten solids for three and a half months? The guys are there, the concrete's going in, and I tell you what, I am so stoked that we're doing it. Definitely a good decision. You might remember from episode one, 
we have these blimmin' ceiling tiles to deal with. We had a couple options. Do we pull all the tiles down, or are they good enough to be able to fix the jib over? Cam's had a look at the ceiling, and he's told me now that the ceiling battens are sturdy and they can handle the jib going straight over the tiles, and it means two things. Less time means less money. We like that. Sparky and plumbers are here to do pre-wire and pipe out. We need to put a new piping right through for the kitchen and the bathroom. We have obviously reconfigured things slightly, but even if we had it, we'd still replace the pipe work just because it gets a bit old and outdated. And while the jib's off, we also need to do the pre-wire. Now, the Sparky's gonna come in and do that. And what that is, is basically he's gonna run new cabling for all plugs and for switches. And we need to do that before the jib goes back on the walls. So the other thing that the electricians are doing is all new downlighting throughout the house. And I get to tell them where I want my pendant, which I've sourced. I've picked the most beautiful pendant. I went over budget, but we have it. And the electricians are gonna sort out where it's gonna go. You're gonna start earlier? Ben's on site. He's our painter and we've been working with him for over three years on every project, so we have a really good relationship with him. And what we like to do is go through the property and just have a good look. He always has some great ideas and just can point us in the right direction. I, on the other hand, am able to tell him what's gonna be there, what walls won't, just so that we can get the quote just right. A big part of the external painting is the deck, but we can't paint the deck until we rebuild the deck. So I've spoken to Cameron Brody and just said, listen guys, this needs to be a priority. Let's get onto it and rebuild it. Part of rebuilding the deck is we need to fix the subfloor where the spa pool was sitting and absolutely crushing it. We have to replace the whole balustrade going right round. The steps are some old concrete, who knows what they are. They need to go and we need to put in some nice new timber steps. And as well as underneath, I want to create a space under there that's usable. So we're going to frame it in and put a door and I'll tell you what, it's gonna look amazing. Next on the agenda is lining the walls and fixing the floor. Once again, the boys smashed it out and made it happen in record time. Final stage before the wife's site inspection is jib stopping. Just one step closer to a finished flip, hope the boss is happy. I have missed quite a few days being on site, and I'm sure you really missed me. Good morning. I've been waiting for you. Good morning. Yeah, I've seen you this morning. We live in the same house. Yeah, I know, but hours ago. Probably got a lot more done with me not on site. However, I walked through those front doors and I saw exactly what I wanted to see. Everything is open. This is so different. We've opened it up nice, eh? I'm trying to even remember what it was like before. It's so much brighter. I just completely lost my voice, which is not great. He's loving it. The yeah, first man. thing I wanted to look at was the flooring. I'm not normally a huge click clack fan. Well, first of all, can you not call it click clack? It's just hard flooring. Okay. That's like- I call it click clack. Yeah, but I'm just- Because it click clacks, have you ever installed it? Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Click clack there, and then like that. The green carpet. Can I try it? No. My toy. Now, I generally like carpet in the lounge because it feels warm, and I'm, as a dad, I like to rumble on the floor with the kids. Option two, we get rid of the carpet completely. It's all click-clack flooring. Not. Nah. Negatory. It's always good to have Christina come in just to bounce off some of my ideas. I'm generally right, but it's just to confirm that I am. So one thing Ty has been doing our entire marriage is often he'll leave out really big, important bits of information. Gosh. And that's exactly what he did today. We had two bathroom spaces. Yeah, and I've opened it up. But we never talked about that. I walked in here, I could see framing, I could see the laundry, and I looked at the skimpy little three by two frame, and I thought, what the heck are we keeping this separate for? The space is so jam is so claustrophobic, so, yeah, you know, so look, tight. It's I've nice. stripped it out. I mean, it obviously decision. looks much, much better now. But it took me a couple minutes to mm -hmm. come to terms with the fact that he didn't tell me he was completely changing our plan. You like it? I like it. Of course you do. I would have loved a chat. Hey, babe, cool news. We can open the bathroom. Uh, project man manager, junior CEO. site performer. So just be careful. There's a couple, there's timbers we're replacing. Hey, Brody. Wait, 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 you're not oh. listening. Whoa. I just, listen, oh. so busy chatting up the builders. Tag's showing me around. 
And let's just say we had a pretty big disagreement. Okay. This is so ugly. Well, it's staying. We're just going to give it a wash. No. Are we doing new sheeting? No. What? We're keeping this? Yeah, needs and a And then clean. it'll be new over there. Tyke, it's a nice house in a nice area. People don't want to come out and see black mold or whatever that is. It has to be new. Are you really serious? Babe, listen. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating me. If the glass is dirty on your window, do you replace the window or do you clean the glass? Let me clean it first. You can make a call on that then. We're done. That sheeting better sparkle, boys. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with it. And We're that's... not doing this again. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is go shopping, and one of my favorite things to shop for are appliances. So today we are heading into Noel Leeming, and we are looking for appliances. Because we're doing a really beautiful, high-quality, high-end house in a beautiful area, I want appliances that are gonna match perfectly. So we are checking out all of the higher appliances, and I'm finding a lot of stuff that I love. So we've got an 8kg dryer and an 9kg washer. Looks nice, though, eh? So sharp. It looks so smart. Yeah, it looks amazing. I'm looking around at all these appliances, and I can't help but imagine them in the property, and I know it's just going to look absolutely fantastic. Come auction day, it's going to add the value that we need to get the property sold. It's the end of a big week, and I couldn't be happier with progress. We're ahead of schedule, and we thought, why not take the boys down for a burger and a beer? The boys had milkshakes. Which is adorable. What a great way to finish the week and a perfect way to finish episode two. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And make sure you check out episode three if you want to see this guy eat some humble pie. <gasps> what? What are those? What? Hmm? What are we looking at? What are those things? They look uh, awfully new. The sheeting. Yeah, are those new sheets? So we had an issue, a major problem. Oh,